All right, everybody. Hello. Welcome to OK Zoomer, Zoom interviews with creative engineers and more. I'm Aaron Lichtig, Zometry Guy, former Jeopardy champion, and I'll be your host today. Um, today, I'm joined by Matteo Del Nino. He's the founder and chief technical officer of Jump Lights. It's an efficient LED lighting company, primarily for horticulture, and it's based right here in Maryland, same as Zometry. So welcome, Matteo. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Aaron. Thanks for having me. Now, to start, uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, your company, Jump Lights, and the kind of work you do, and why you launched this company, why you got into the space. Yeah, so um, a little bit more about Jump Lights. We make LEDs, primarily focused on horticulture, just like you said. Um, and I got into the space because I was really interested in um, photo uh, morphology of, of plants, and that means um, how plants will change how they grow based on lighting. Um, and I just wanted to give growers and farmers a little bit more tools so that they can optimize the lighting for the grow environment and therefore change the way that the plants grow. Um, and they can do that for efficiency or, or they can do that uh, based on whatever the, their end users or customers uh, would prefer in, in plants. Cool, now what, what kind of parts do you make for the, the jump lights lights. Yeah, so we have we have two different uh, products, uh, both for lighting and horticulture. One is a supplemental lighting product, so that means most of the light is coming from the sun. And if there's some cloudy days or there's um, like winter, the the sun's not out as long. You need to supplement the light. We have a product for that, and so that product is like a, a low shadow product. So the grower gets to use as much sunlight as they can. And then we have a product for that's completely indoor. And so we kind of try to mimic the light ourselves that would come from the sun. And so that one is a um, much higher power light. And we make everything from uh, fabricating PC boards to uh, making injection molded uh, enclosures for our electronics. And we even make uh, the metal from um, extrusions. Okay, excellent. Um, now switching gears a bit, what got you interested in engineering in the first place? Now you've, you've got a couple of engineering degrees, one from Virginia Tech in mechanical engineering and another one in biosystems engineering from Iowa State. What kind of started you down that path? Yeah, so um, I guess in high school my favorite classes were uh, calculus and physics and um, I've kept trying to find more practical applications for my love of math um, and when I did my undergrad degree in mechanical engineering I realized we didn't study anything living at all <laughs> mm. so transitioning to biosystems in for my master's um, it was very interesting because I use my mechanical engineering background but we tried to optimize living things and I focused mainly on algae uh, to try to help algae grow better and, um, uh, and, and create as much algae as possible and also change what type of uh, chemicals that the algae is producing. Hmm. Why did you decide on algae as a focus area? <laughs> well, I got interested in biofuels um, and I started a project about uh, waste vegetable oil. Um, and when I started reading a lot more into it, I realized the cold flow properties of algae derived uh, biofuels were much better. Um, mm -hmm. So there was a lot of literature uh, showing that algae had a ton of promise and nobody knew really that much about it. So I decided I might as well go to um, do my, my grad school and look into it and try to figure it out, uh, dive deeper into it. So, Awesome. Now, um, moving on from algae to the lighting industry, yeah. what are some of the biggest trends that you think we'll see in the lighting industry moving forward? And what are, what are some of the things that are driving those trends? Yeah, well, uh, we're betting on the, the trend of replacing the old gas discharge lights with LED lights. And that's because LEDs are some of the most efficient way that you can turn electrons into photons. Um, and you know, we've seen industries, whole segments of industries change 
like uh, commercial lighting, um, street lighting, and everyone's probably familiar with the residential lighting, how that's changed from old incandescence to LED lights. Um, some of it's incentives and, and some of it is uh, energy savings um, for the end user. But we think the next whole segment to transform is going to be the agriculture segment in general. Definitely a huge segment and one that, that we need very much right now to continue to grow and do well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, outside of Jump Lights, your own project, what is the, the coolest engineering project or application that you've seen recently? Oh, gosh. Um, so I have two kids and um, we have tons of toys around the house. And I just think it's so cool how the, the toys are manufactured in such a way to bring down cost and um and so they can have a lot of acceptance into the market but they're also pretty durable because the uh the young kids are throwing them around and um they're just so cool how they you know can transform or do all this sort of stuff and it and i can only imagine um how many pieces are being made and also like the size of the molds for some of these things must be huge. <laughs> They're, they must be enormous. And yeah. as a parent of two kids myself, I know how durable those toys have to be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mateo, what um, piece of advice would you have for engineers that want to get out there and start a creative new company like Jumplets? Yeah. Um, I would say just dip your toe in the water. <laughs> um, so that just means the first thing you have to do is, is validate assumptions. So, you know, if you, if you have an idea about something, of course you have assumptions on what the market's going to do or what your product is going to do. And so you just start chipping away at, at those assumptions and trying to test their validity. Awesome. Well, Matteo, thank you for joining us today. Um, this was Matteo Del Nino. He is the CTO and founder of Jump Lights, which is a, uh, an efficient LED lighting company based here in Maryland. Um, thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you again, Matteo. Thank you.